What's up everybody, it's Jesse from Iron Aesthetics. Thanks for checking back into the channel. Today, I'm trying to get some updates done inside the garage. Uh, behind me, I kind of rearranged some of my uh, autograph posters. I had that Subaru Motorsports flag chilling for a while. I got it last summer at Wicked Big Meet and uh, never hung it up. And even across uh, the garage there, got some, uh, some nice artwork. I actually found it at Hobby Lobby, first time there. What a store. But yeah, so kind of dress things up a little bit, personalize the space a little bit more. Um, something I've wanted to do for a while actually pertains to this garage door here. Um, this is the original door, it's in good shape. It's just got these really yellow window inserts that are not the biggest problem, but they're definitely an eyesore when I'm like taking videos and pictures. It's kind of one of the things that I can't help but notice. So I had been looking for a while for replacements. They're pretty much impossible to find. So I've got um, just like some sandpaper, gonna scuff them up. Uh, you know, clean them up a little bit and get them masked off. And I'm actually gonna try and paint them while they're still uh, in the door. And hopefully I don't have to like, you know, take everything out and, and have holes in the door for a little while. So yeah, not necessarily quick work, but should make for a quick video. Figured I'd come in here and get the GoPro up uh, and record while I start doing some of this. So, you know, we'll see how it goes. Hopefully it looks good when it's finished. Uh, let's check it out. All right, so a couple of quick things before I start on these. One is, you know, they're pretty, um, they're pretty dirty and dusty. So I've got the vacuum set up. I'm gonna vacuum all these first. I've got a rag with some uh, APC that I'm gonna use just to kind of clean it uh, generally around them. You know, there's stuff like sanding dust and God knows what else from when all the work was getting done in here. And I have the compressor hooked up so I can blow out everything, um, you know, around the edges and whatnot and try and get as clean of a surface uh, before I paint these. I've also got some uh, three inch sanding discs. So what I'm gonna do is just kind of sand each one of them by hand just to scuff them up a little bit so the paint adheres better. And uh, I've got some blue scotch painters tape. I'm gonna mask off the windows and around each door because like I said, I wanna try and get these painted uh, without taking them out. Um, you know, setting them down to dry somewhere, having holes in the door for, you know, a day or whatever it takes. So. Um, I've never done anything like this before. It's probably gonna be some trial and error. And uh, what the hell, might as well document it along the way. Um, but I'm gonna start with the vacuuming first. Let me get that thing hooked up and then uh, we'll get right into the rest of it. So these are all vacuum cleaned, wiped down. What I wanna do next is come in with a little sandpaper on everything I'm gonna be painting and just uh, scuff it up a little bit to promote some adhesion. So to do that, uh, I have these sanding discs here, um, the Polywell. It's like a multi-pack of sanding discs. They range anywhere from 800 all the way up to uh, 3000 grit. I just got them off Amazon. I actually used them uh, for the first time for wet sanding this guy's outboard. Uh, engine cover on his boat. And they come with this like interface, so it's really squishy, uh, like a foam backing plate, because you wouldn't want to use it on a polisher, it's just sandpaper. Um, so this will make it easy to kind of manipulate, bend it, get into some of the grooves and stuff. Again, honestly, this is all like trial and error here, but um, yeah, I'm gonna start with the uh, 800, scuff them up a little bit. I might do another pass with maybe like, you know, a thousand or 2000, something like that, um, if I feel like it's too rough, but just give them a good scuff and then uh, wipe everything down, get the compressed air, mask off the uh, window inserts, and then we should be ready for paint. You know when you have an idea and you're like, wow, that could like possibly be a good idea. In your heart of hearts, you're pretty certain that it's gonna be a bad idea, but that little part of you that's telling you like, hey, no, this might actually be a good idea, just kind of like empowers you to pursue it anyway. Well, that just happened. And um, you know, I guess more or less what was going on was I started to mask everything off and like the borders came out fine, right? 
and I started putting uh, the inserts here. And it's not like entirely happy with the way it's coming out, or you can clearly see as I'm spray painting. It's kind of migrating inside this edge here and getting on the glass. And I'm like, you know, I should probably, you know, quit with where I'm at and see if I can uh, get these inserts out. Well, it's like a multi-piece insert. It's a bunch of screws. This frame is separate from the actual, um, you know, design. And then there's an outer frame uh, with the glass in between it. And I was trying to figure out, like, is the glass held to one part or the other? Got a bunch of screws out. Thought I had a handle on things. As you can see, I've got the insert out here. And, uh, you know, there it is. But, uh, yeah, turns out I didn't have the glass secured. And now what I'm dealing with is, let's see if I can get my, can I get my light to go on out here? I don't know, sometimes this light works, sometimes it doesn't, there we go. And there is the broken window from my garage insert along with the, uh, the frame right there. So I think what we're gonna be doing is putting this project temporarily on hold. Of course, I did this on a Friday night um, got a little ambitious, and so far all the glass places that I've been looking into are closed over the weekend. So this is something that I might just have to uh, pick up on Monday. Um, for now, I think I'm just going to put that insert back in and, I don't know, get some saran wrap in there or something for the meantime. Um, kind of annoying, but just going to have to, uh, you know, adapt and overcome and maybe wait a little longer to have these inserts um, finally painted. So yeah, I guess I'll, uh, I'll see what I can do about ordering a new piece of glass and the next time I'm in front of the camera uh, will be when I have that sorted out because again, it looks like finding replacement, just inserts ready to go is um, more or less impossible at this point. So to be continued. All right, so it's the next day. Um, we're ready for paint. I learned uh, some tough lessons last night. I learned some things the hard way. Um, was trying to be intuitive. Um, some people might argue I tried to take some shortcuts, but uh, nonetheless, I have all the windows out. So all the inserts are out. Um, I'm ready for paint. I've got the uh, four frames there, three of them that have glass. And then I've got uh, just a can of Rust-Oleum, you know, paint and primer, nothing crazy. Got some gloves, uh, got a mask, and uh, I have the inserts uh, set up outside now, which is probably what I should have just done from the jump. Um, so let me get you out there and show you my setup. All right, so what I ended up doing was I had this old sheet of uh, plywood here, some pallets sitting on the side of the garage. So just kind of propped them up and uh, I actually used the screws that were holding them into the garage door to get them to sit still on this uh, piece of wood here. So now I've got, you know, some type of backing. I can kind of spray freely. I don't really have to worry about masking anything off, which is more or less what I probably should have done. Um, from the beginning here. Now, um, these are all prepped, obviously. All right, this is pretty straightforward. Uh, it's just a rattle can. So you wanna give it a good shake um, for about a minute or so. I already shook this up before um, I started recording the video. I'm gonna do a couple of coats and I'm gonna do each coat really, really light and maybe come back every like five or 10 minutes um, to apply a new coat. With the weather outside today, which is actually pretty solid for November, um, you know, it's about like, I don't know, 70 degrees outside, almost on a short sleeve t-shirt. Um, it's going to dry to the touch in about 20 minutes. So I don't want to quite wait uh, that long, but, um, yeah, we'll do one coat. We'll come back in five minutes, see how it looks and, uh, see how many coats we need to do to get these things looking, uh, bright white again. layers on here now and I'd, I'd say the coverage is actually pretty good I mean I'm by no means like a you know professional painter 
Um, but given what they used to look like, I would say it looks pretty solid. The only reason I'm gonna do a few more coats is uh, one, just to kind of air on the safe side. And two, I don't really have a lot of this stuff left in here. Um, I don't have anything else to use it for. So I'm just gonna kind of, you know, run the can dry over one or maybe even uh, two more coats. And then, <clears throat> and then I'll probably just move this, uh, move this sheet of plywood over to somewhere in the sun where this gets some, uh, some good time to, to dry and, and really set uh, throughout the day, take advantage of the weather while I have it this time of year. And uh, in the meantime, the only other thing I'll be doing is looking for um, you know, a local glass shop and uh, bring over one of the other panes and see if they can just make me um, you know, a replacement for the one that I broke. But yeah, I mean, it's coming along pretty nicely and I, I think it'll be a nice uh, update to the garage when it's done. basically in direct sunlight now. We're gonna give them pretty much all day to dry. And uh, I'm actually gonna take one of the spare pieces of glass right now and head over to uh, Sayville Glass and Mirror um, so they can uh, check it out and uh, get everything they need to make me a replacement. All right, so it's about five o'clock right now. The uh, panels have been out drying all day. And uh, I'm gonna take them inside just before I get ready to go to dinner here. So uh, yeah, we're looking, uh, we're looking pretty good. Nice and smooth, everything dry. We've got nice even coverage. I think they're gonna look uh, great when they go back in. One was already broken, that was this one. I dropped this one off, so they had a sample of something to duplicate, and now this one I need to replace. But for all intents and purposes, that's what it looks like. Looks much better. I'm actually stepping on the glass that I broke, so let me get this out of here, and then we're gonna uncover the WRX and we're going out for dinner. Final check-in. Uh, in a couple of days when I get these last two pieces in and then we'll figure out what's next in here. All right, well that's a wrap on this one. It did actually take me some time before I got around to filming the conclusion of the video, but when it's all said and done, Sable Glass did a great job making those replacements for me. The fitment was awesome and uh, they went in nice and easy and I was able to get this whole thing buttoned up and finally put a bow on that project. I mean, the rest of the door itself could use a good cleaning, but probably not something that I'm gonna go in and make a whole video on. I'll get to that at some point in between the detailing and everything else that I got going on. Um, now, as far as what's coming up next, you know, the detailing may slow down a little bit over the winter, we'll see what happens. I do have some stuff booked for uh, December, I have some vacations planned and I'm really hoping to get back to the Forrester detailing content. So if you're looking forward to any of that stuff, if you've been following along, make sure that you're subscribed to the channel, hit that notification bell too, and uh, you'll know exactly when something gets published and you won't miss any of the upcoming videos. Uh, but as always guys, thanks again for checking in. My name's Jesse from Island Aesthetics. I'm out, I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.